Okay, guys. First thing, uh, well, first thing I want to say is uh, anybody watching this video, uh, do not replicate this experiment or any of these experiments in any way, shape, or form at home. They are extremely dangerous. Alright, let's see if this thing even works. Alright guys, interesting results already. Uh, I checked temperature of the capacitor here, I checked the rod here, I checked the clamp on the shunt, and I checked the transformer. Now, I used the infrared gun again, but uh, I turned my jet heater off. I'm close right here to the opening of the lab. Uh, it's very cold outside, temperatures are changing. But I, I ran it for uh, like 35 seconds. I uh, just counted approximately 35 seconds. And I'm noticing that when it first starts running, it is very erratic. And as it keeps going, it starts smoothing out. And I saw one or two other people, too, that had the same results. And that's quite interesting. So let me show you that right now. Okay, I have not touched these rods yet while this thing is running. You know, did you ever hear the saying, curiosity killed a cat? <laughs> I just hope I got more than one life. <laughs> uh, Alright, so uh, right now, before I go touching these rods, I put this 100 watt bulb on there. Uh... I have not adjusted it to the best spot. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to light up the bulb. I'm going to turn it off. Because I'm not brave enough to touch it while it's running yet. I'm going to move this light up and down. Try different positions. Get the brightest position on there. And then we'll be back. interesting that bulb is up high filament lights up bright as we go down uh, well it's actually what we're seeing was the sparks jumping across the leads going into the bulb uh, well actually it was sparking right inside the glass not not on my alligator clips so it's uh, interesting that that was actually brighter than the filament. Let me show you a close-up of this bulb here. Uh, actually, it's right in here that the spark was jumping. And that's when we have it down low on the hairpin here on the rods um, at that point the bulb does get hot 
Uh, when I had it up high and we have just the filament inside glowing, the bulbs didn't even feel warm. Okay, I keep uh, increasing the spark gap distance. I wanted to see how far I could spread those gaps apart before it won't jump the gap. But I'm up to a total of a half inch gap right now, a total. And uh, one thing I'm seeing for sure is that it's lowering the frequency. Let me show you what that looks like. Pay attention to the sound and the bulb at the top. show you what it's like with only a total gap distance of 200. Alright, here's what happens if I remove the shunt from the top. It's a lot more energy. I got the lights turned out. You can see I got one end connected to the rod up there, one rod. I've got this halogen uh, uh, fluorescent ball connected in series with the halogen bulb over here with the filament. Alright, what I'm going to try now is there's a little tiny wire. Look for the red tape. There's two wires coming off of here. They're uh, number 36 gauge wire. It's .005. It's about the thickness of a human hair, literally. Okay, I got them coming over here. Uh, where's the black tape hanging? They're hanging from the strips of black tape. Going over there, going down there, going down there, against the wall, to a 50 watt bulb under this glass dome here. And uh, we're going to see if we can light that up. Three, two, one. That's just freaking amazing. You got to think about this. <laughs> these these wires are only five thousandths thick. I believe they're thinner than the filament that's in the bulb. Think about that. Alright guys, oh, I almost only got three minutes recording time. You can see I added the fan over, whoa, where's my finger, over there. Quench the spark, uh, spark gap a little bit. Alright, here we go. Uh, oh, forgive me, oh Tesla, for I have sinned. <laughs> Alright Tesla, you've never let me down. Don't let me down now. Look at that, baby. Look at that. 
All right, guys, <clears throat> let's see. I hope I could see here. What I'm going to attempt to do is uh, I only have two minutes recording time on this disc, so I have to make this quick. This is the finale here. I'm going to touch each end of the probe, uh, the, the, the metal bear probes in water while the bulb is lit, uh, each end going to the rods. I'm going to turn out the lights here. All right. Tesla, don't let me down, man. Please don't let me down. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I think we're going to have to have this, a discussion video on this one. Oh. Oh my heart is racing. Oh that is so cool feeling. Oh my god. There's oh my, so many questions. 